All right. Phew. What is up, everyone? Here we are. Another beautiful day in paradise. As you can see. <laughs> All right, so we have about eight inches of water under our house. It's probably like that. I don't know. It could be anywhere from five to ten. Really, it's like this this much from all the rain. So we went to Harbor Freight yesterday and got the Drummond one fourth horsepower submissible sump pump. I don't know how these things work. They made it a really big point that you can't return it to the store. You have to call the toll free number because they probably break really fast. Just like almost everything at Harbor Freight. But we got this extension cord that we got for free. So what really, really blow, like, is brutal that we had two sump pumps that we got for free, and we threw one out. This is before we knew about the water. And then we left one at the scrap yard. We took it out of the car to dump all the scrap, and then we were gonna put it back in, and it just ended up never going back in. So, but we bought one, and now we know for sure it'll work. Yeah. Instead of just on gas. But we did get this extension board for free. This hose for free. And oh, so it's not actually even as crazy as it was yesterday. It's still, it's not good. It's we crazy. The, the That's from when the cats went down there. You can't see. You hit next to the chair. But like, okay, so this is our house. It's just a and weird. then, this where weird. that little white thing is, it's floating on top of the water. Oh, so that like, makes sense, that dude. What? Because like, on the island where there's a crawl space, mm -hmm. the crawl space is here. This is and so the house is on top. It's not like this, where this is like a basement. We're going to have an infestation. No. We're gonna pop it of mosquitoes, it and that is the creepiest looking spider. Oh, this camera just won't focus. So. Like this is a dreamer hose. Like if this does, I don't know if this is ruined or something. But the boy gave us like two hoses already. Trying to deal with emotions and no more feelings All I wanted was a picture on my wall Bring everybody along Now I'm confused Where did and the hose go? I guess maybe not teach you how to use a cell phone Because we don't know how to either I gotta look at this. Ew. How sticky. What the fuck is in there? Alright, so the sump pump claims are not going down right now. The hose? The ho there's no hose hookup for that, and. I'm literally about to just return it and just use my friends. I texted my friend Joe and he said he has one that we can use, so save 70 bucks. It sucks, I just had the music on in the background. I have to turn it off because copyright. But um, organizing the scrap. So we got this all is going to be light iron in the trailer. And then we got this is done. A little bit of copper here. This is a motor, stainless steel, and then an electric motor in there. We got aluminum, which is getting heavy, that piece. That's all household wire. This is all aluminum, aluminum, and copper here. So, just organization right now. That's what's going down. Probably going to go on an adventure today, so stay tuned for that. All right, we're about to pick up the sump pump from the boy 
and then try and pump this out. So hopefully getting this done for free instead of that 70 we spent. 60, 58 something. But this boy's outside, I see him. Oh, walking man. around with tools. The mocking Joe. The mocking Joe, right? The mocking Joe's outside in his neck. All right, this is the one we got from our boy Joe. This is a good brand, and it's a commercial one. Hooks up to a hose, so gonna use this one and take back the other one. Get our any. It should be fine though, right? under there though, dude. It's insane. Should be sucking out. Right now? Yeah. Gotta go over here and say. Yeah. It's on. It's flowing. What's up, explorers, viewers, people that like these abandoned videos. Hopefully we're, hopefully we are en route to an abandoned marina is what it looks like, or a fish factory, or a seafood company. Um, so our friend Joe, we got a sump bump from him earlier was telling us kind of like go up towards Dorchester along like the river. Cause pretty much Atlantic County and Cape May County are split in half by a river. But then when you go to the, to, you know, the, the Atlantic County side of Cape May County, it's Ocean City first and then the offshore Ocean City. And then that Ocean City and Sea Isle is split between an inlet and a river. And it goes up, I don't know the name of the river, but bivalve is on one side. And on the other side, there's, it's Morris, it's Morris River, actually, what am I talking about? Morris River Road. So we're gonna go all the way down that road to the very end, to the tip, where it looks like there's a whole bunch of buildings and docks that are abandoned. I don't know, satellites are sometimes wrong, like, and it looks like more run down or less run down than it actually is sometimes. But we're heading out there and we're gonna try and find something cool for you guys to check out and for ourselves, so. The exploration continues um, on the open road, open road of America. So, all right, we're out in Weymouth at the Super Deli. Sammy just walked in, but my phone fell off of here when we were making a turn and went. You did this coffee cup, and it's wet now. And we are going to try and get rice from here and put it in there because that's what you're supposed to do, I guess. So, this is Dr. Ben's rice factory. Doc, Uncle Ben's. Uncle Gravy. Original, original. Just open it like that, yeah. Oh, uh, that's just making the rice go down more, though. All right, well, do we have a bag in here? Oh. The local legend at the gas station said if we want to find the river, go up to the light, go one street past, and make a left. Because uh, both of our phones died. Uh, which, way, well, which way would that be? What? Uh, like up past this light or that way? He didn't really say. Is there a light that way? No. Alright, we came across this abandoned post office. It's too heavy to deal with that dude. It's like really fucked up. Creepy, right? Yeah. And the and door was wide open. Then... And this is just a federal building. And we're just not in the mood to get arrested. 
in this truck. We probably look like we're stealing fucking dropper. Dude, we're clearly just turning around. We could just show them the footage. Is that the only basketball court? I felt like I saw another one. Look at that well right there. That opening in the ground. This just took us to the craziest place, but there's live horseshoes, which I've never seen before, surprisingly. Like, a lot of them. Look, they're mating, making. Mm hmm. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're all over the place. I'm like, oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh my god, look at their little eyes! Hi! I didn't even know they had eyes. Hi! Hello! Huge giant fish. fish that like put your hand like to show how big this fish is. Dude, what kind of a fish is this? Thing? I don't know. It's a striper. Looks like it's not legal. Yeah, that's why they did it down here. Dude, they're all scuttering away like in Jurassic Park. All right, this is true right side America picking. Uh, we're in like Morris Beach, we just left. It's in South Jersey. But they got this stuff on the side of the road. It's like, it just has a thing that says free. But look at this. I want to drink your bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see this is gold. This is straight gold, boys. Like. It doesn't get much better than that, free. You know? Grand old Opry. And some gloves in there. These all work. Do you want any? Stop. I want. No, I don't. It's all wet. I like picking. <laughs> this little dreamer. Jewelry box. Yeah, you know. Alright. I want you to drink your buzz. <laughs> this is gold. This is gold out here. This is gold. Oh, yeah. All right, we're back at the house. We didn't, what, what we saw on Google Maps wasn't what was there, so we just adventured around, saw some ducks. 
Um, found a little some cool stuff in the trash, but this is still pumping. It's four hours later, and this much is flowing out from under our house. So that's how heavy that is. But we're back home now, so I'm gonna pack up the packages we need to send, and she's gonna probably do some tie dyeing of Cindy and Bill's shirts. So get them ready and then we're gonna try and get the stencils popping too for that. But the dream continues. Broken. A pipe? Do you think it's the vent from when the cats were down there? No. What was that to? The air. Ah. You should probably All right, at Starbucks right now, sitting outside uploading um, to get this, this content to you guys. Um, we're at 53% right now, so getting it there slowly but surely. Okay. But we are... Thank you guys uh, for being honest about the Mustang. I guess it's not. I don't know that much about cars, obviously. Um... It's not a fastback, obviously. You guys all said that, and I'm sorry for thinking that it was a car that it wasn't. I don't know. I, the car was in such decay, I couldn't even read the VIN number. Um, either way, I don't know that much about cars in general. Anyway, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a car fanatic. I love free stuff. That's my main thing in life. So if someone says free, free whatever... I jump on the opportunity, so um, I thought it was something that it was, you know, it was cool for me. It was exciting, and it still is. So I'm still going to get it, hopefully, um, and it's still going to be an adventure. I don't know that I'm going to try and restore it. That was kind of just like a claim that I made, but I think that getting it would be an awesome video, and then maybe selling off some parts off of it would be the best choice. Um, or using it somehow for a video shoot even would be kind of cool, I think. Um, or even like dragging it behind another car in it for like a shoot or something for a video would be cool. It has many uses other than just being scrapped, I believe. And the scrap value would be way lower than even selling just the hood and the, and the side panels um, from the front. Because they're in the garage and they're actually in pretty decent condition. But, uh... Yeah, thank you guys just for being, being, um, you know, honest about it. Because if it's not worth it, it's just not worth it. I don't really know about restoring cars. I know nothing about restoring um, body work on old cars that are that old. So I guess probably the best um, choice would be to get it and just see what happens. Try and sell it eventually. But uh. Yeah, the, the thing is, the guy had a stroke, so he's never going to have the capability of even getting it out of there. So I'd be doing him a favor. Um, it would be a cool video, and I could use it for something and then sell it later. So I think all options are pretty good. But um, I did sell the boat, 400 bucks. So it's all about just sitting on things sometimes. And this guy, you know, some people are just really mean on here. Like, not necessarily even to me. But just in general. So, it is what it is. The true, the true people that actually support me come through. You know, Tom Lombard I'm seeing on here, for one thing. Um, you know had never has never said anything bad ll dumpster marcus obviously kim williams the true fans shine through every time uh, and and they you can say something and, and inform people on youtube about your opinion without being a total dick um it is possible people do it all the time uh so you know you don't have to be mean about it i guess it's just people's insecurities coming out I'm not even saying anyone specifically because, like, there's arguments with other people that aren't even me because I'm not going to argue back with people. I don't even know uh, about cars, so I'm not going to sit here and act like I do. But, yeah, we're getting another video uploaded. I'm about to start editing another video right now while I still have to wait 
and then I'm going to go home and eat some dinner with uh, Sammy. So for me, the day is just, just glorious. We didn't really do that much today. We thought we were going to find this awesome or abandoned marina, but it turned out to be just a dead end road with, you know, a pile of cement on the other side. I don't know. Google Maps kind of screwed us on that one, but on to new adventures. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for the, the support. It means a lot. And I'm going to have to get some internet at my house eventually. But just the heavy bills that we have already are kind of gnarly. And we're trying to just stay above water here. So another extra bill. If I can just roll over. This is like a mile away from my house and just upload. Not that big of a deal for now. But yeah, I'll show you guys what we're eating for dinner. And, and just thank you all again so much for all the support and, and the continued dream chasing. So for the boys, here's the next edit that I'm putting up. So you guys will see this before this video comes out, so you'll know already. Also, I wanted to ask, uh, obviously the foreclosure videos, especially if they have a lot of good stuff, are viewed, highly viewed. The scrap videos are decently viewed. But uh, what is your guys' favorite kind of video to watch? Um, I know people are going to have different opinions, but please leave it in the message in the comments below, and we'll try and do more videos like that. I do have a few cool things planned country living fair for one coming up on june 1st with my mom so she's going to be the main star of that obviously and then the dr danger stunt show coming up in june in the middle of june so that'll be another show uh, another whole thing on itself and i have some really really epic news and plans coming soon to you guys but i can't say it yet because i haven't um solidified the plan yet and I also can't release it in the daily vlog it's gonna be a whole video in itself but uh, it has to do with me and Sammy I'm not gonna say what it is but it's a dreamer you <laughs>